Yes. Um, so I say I'm going to sit on a bolster and we'll have a blanket nearby. And we'll just center for a few moments. So chair, blankets nearby. Um, if you have socks or anything like that, if you want anything like that, you know, this is, that's the kind of practice it's going to be. So we can just bring them in. Settle, let's turn the palms up. Yes. And then inhale and lift your heart. Move your shoulders back and exhale. Drop your chin. Close your eyes. And we'll take a few moments to turn in, turn inwards. To sit in our inner world. Explore our own inner landscape, our own inner nature. Just feeling your breath moving, your body as it is. Just letting that breath gently expand, probably the upper chest. And in your mind's eye, visualizing your favorite tree without its leaves or losing its leaves. And then just deeply acknowledging, you know, if you took that tree and you turned it upside down and put it in your chest, it would have the same structural look as your lungs. Spreading out into all of its little sacs and all of its endings, just like a tree expands all the way up the trunk to the branches, to the leaves itself. Just before we move on, just acknowledging this connection of nature without and nature within. That orange color we're seeing for much longer than I remember is the color of your sacral chakra, the second one, and it's below the navel. And now just feeling the breath move into the lower belly area. Just for a few breaths, swelling the belly, the sides. With breath. And then just in your mind's eye, feeling these two places the upper chest and below the navel. Center place. Above as below. And Again, just being with this breath now, but imagining maybe almost this infinity sign as you breathe in, it fills the lungs. And as you breathe out, you feel that infinity sign circle around the belly. Just tracing in your mind's eye. This figure eight. One more breath, connecting to your inner world, inner landscape, and then join the palms together in front of the heart space. Bow your chin. And lengthening yourself nice and tall, we ankle the sit bones. Take this linear line of nice and tall as above as below. And we'll open. Class and chant only three times. Inhale. Oh.
and bow on your chin. Place your hands on your thighs. Move your chin. Open your eyes. Okay. So we're going to start with um, legs on the chair. And I have the I brought the bolster in for the hips. And so feel free to put a blanket if you have a metal chair that gets a little chilly. <clears throat> and just do that. Good. So I feel like we are going to stand. And if you want to put your socks on now, you can. Or just leave them off. And then I'm going to sit on the bolster and sweep the legs over. And the bolster is there just to kind of support the back. You might also put something for your head or another, um, another blanket, whatever you need. You find your, oh, your place and your grace. I can't talk for a moment. It just feels good. So as I drop in, I feel like my Feet are cupping the sides here. My knees have opened. I'm in a little bit of a body kanasana. Whatever feels good. You could just have calves resting on the chair. Your feet are probably going to be hanging off. It's fine. Whatever feels good. Just do almost like ground. You know, we all know people in our lives, and we've maybe been that person who's just flitting from thing to thing to thing to thing and ungrounded. And that for sure happens, you know, for all of us, we have these times when we're just ungrounded. The ground is literally um, taken out from underneath you and you know, we've all lived a life. So things happen and life gets shaken up. And so, you know, acknowledging it's all part of the cycle. But here we have this opportunity to ground, to feel the support from the floor, to acknowledge it, to surrender to it. I'm just resting in, just receiving. Okay, make sure you're comfortable. Be here for a few moments. Stop talking. I'm still here. Moving into our final few moments here. So let that be the invitation to be more present in receiving what this pose is offered. And we're going to come out of this just like we do in Shavasana. And so let's start just by wiggling your toes, your fingers, and then take your time here. And if you can start to maybe move your ankles or your wrists in some way. And 
it might even you might notice with your hands there's some figure eighting happening. Smoothing fingers, ankles, maybe toes, wrists. And then we'll just stretch maybe the arms over the head, the legs would stretch long, however you are. And we'll bend the knees and you'll place your feet perhaps at the edge of the chair. So there's just, that's okay. Or heels on the chair if that's a better place for you. We'll almost like we have knees into the chest, but I'm not hugging them in. I'm just so resting them on the edge of the chair. And we just, that's just going to change the angle of the back a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to bring the right knee in. Now the left foot can stay where it is, or you could put the left leg back on your chair. You could even you know, have the back of the thigh on the end, whatever works for you. Hug that right knee in for a few moments. And I'm pressing my left leg so the back of the knee or back of the thigh is on the front of the chair. I'm just pushing it into the chair. And then we'll switch legs. So however you have the Right leg is fine. You can just anchor it in some way as you bring the left knee in. In some way. It doesn't need to be super strong, just a little bit of anchoring. Good. And then I'll release that. And I'm going to um, just have both legs kind of extended. So my feet are resting on the back of the chair. And if that's not a good um, place for you, just Rest your, uh, your calves again. Good. Let's just take one more breath here. And then we'll bring the knees right in. Uh, maybe you place your feet on the floor outside of the chair, just so you can lift your hips and take the bolster out. And then once your hips come down, we'll bring the knees into the chest, just like we do. Rocking side to side. Oh, I feel we're going to come into twist here. So you can use your bolster if you like. I'm just going to take both knees over to the left. That's where I put my bolster. So I'll just start with the left side. And the arms can open. Just be in this twist for a few moments. It's basic. Tara Parvatanasana, evolved twist. Feeling the flow of your breath. This is invitation into your inner world, your inner landscape. As if that breath is maybe a paintbrush. Just paint it a nice big stroke all the way up into your right side of your lungs. Maybe pass that into the right upper arm. Just letting the breath. Deepen. You might even see a color associated with the breath. Just do a little side stretch. So stay as you are. Take your left hand, rest it on top of your right thigh, unless you're the opposite way. And I'm going to take this right arm and just reach it over the head. And I do have a wall here, so I'll just push the wall away. You have the same. Different. Let's see what feels good. Good. And then release and bring yourself back to center. And you might put your calves back on your chair if you like for a moment or two. And if you use your bolster, slide it over to the other side. Start by bringing your knees into your chest. Let's give them a little hug. Maybe rocking if you need to release something. And then let the knees drop over to the right side and take your twist. Prop up, friends. Take care of yourself. 
because you're the one who's there to do it. That's our main job, take good care of ourselves. So we practice this. So when we have those times when we feel ungrounded or you know, like the earth is literally cut away from underneath our feet and we have these tools. Extending the breath. Or feeling the breath extending. And feeding and nourishing. In this beautiful, restful way. You notice if your eyes are really fluttering and you bring your inner gaze either down to the bridge of your nose, even with your eyes closed. Or you might prefer to take your inner gaze to your third eye space. Okay, I'm going to take the right hand and rest it on the left thigh and take the right arm over the head and just find a little stretch for a few breaths. So from here, friends, just roll right over to your side and pause on your side for a few moments, just like we're coming up from Shavasana, just feel yourself on your side for a moment or two, just letting everything come back. Then we'll press up to sitting. Just keep it restful, so open your eyes all the way. We come to a uh, little downward dog on the chair. So if you're wearing your socks, you can slip them off. You just want to keep them on. Just one thing when you know, bring yourself up. I'll just move this blanket. I can access the sides of the chair. Just holding on. And just pick yourself up and just take it back. And walk your feet to wherever you might want to bring them in or out. And walk a little bit front to back. And there's something really Nice about downward dog with the chair. Take the, so much of the weight of the shoulders out of it. Okay, so I'm going to settle in here. I'm going to place the palms on the chair at the heels of the hands there. You can keep moving and just settle in. Take a few breaths. I have my knees bent. I'm pressing the thighs back, the toes back, taking the ribs in. One more breath here. And then just walk yourself towards your chair. We're just going to come to standing. No chair. Just stand. And, you know, this is one of those simple poses. A lot happens here. So feel your feet. Just be with your stance. And let's add that little shoulder thing we've been playing with. So. You lift your shoulders to your ears and take them back. You lift your heart, take the ribs in, and just feel what, what happens. And then just playing with the image of you, know, you as nature, feet pressing into the earth, crown of the head, reaching skyward. You might pull your chin in a little. Well, there's tree pose. So you have your chair if you need it. You just flip it around and use it. Otherwise, it's going to bring the hands together at the heart. You move with reverence onto the left side, balancing on your left foot. Take your time. Play, be, and you can grow your tree. Find your stability, even if there's a lot of shaking. Some day it's it's you know when we've I see I know who's here we've been doing this for a long time all of us so it's always fascinating to me you know at the beginning you think oh if I keep practicing tree pose I'm gonna get it and be like awesome tree pose 
But that's not what happens. <laughs> Every time you have to find it, you have to play with it. Whatever's happening in your life, in nature. Ooh, one more breath if you're still in it. And then just take yourself out. Come back to just standing. The Dasana Mountain Pose. The name of this pose, Mountain Pose. What does that tell us? You need to be strong in the legs. Your heart lifted. Strong in our trunk. Take one more moment as you are. Just going to do the shoulder work with the shoulders. Take them back. Lift the heart, the ribs in, maybe the chin in. Feel your toes maybe come light. And I'll bring the hands together at the heart. Shift the weight to the right foot. Find your tree on the left side, on the right side, left foot. No, no, your tree could be foot on the floor today. That's fine. Do the work. Feel. Is this side different than the other side? We do have one stronger side, one weaker side. Be the tree. Be the mountain. Steady, graceful, sturdy, and then release this, come back to mountain pose. We come back to downward dog. We'll start by inhaling, sweep the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, open these arms back out to the side, start to bend your knees, find your chair. Step back if you're like, oh, I just want to do downward dog without a chair. Go ahead. Take a few breaths here. Good. And play with the shoulder stuff here. Let's see how that is. Okay, back. So let's get the left foot forward. I'm going to take a, a little pyramid, a little uh, revolve triangle. So once I have the feet in place, hands are still on the chair, I'm going to pull that left hip back. You might even just move that hip forward and back a few times, just kind of feel what, why are we bringing the hip back and the thighs come in and the anchoring. Good. Okay, so press the thighs back. If you need to put a bend in your knees, do that. Let's take a little revolve. So I'll take the right hand. I have the left foot forward, so the right hand is coming to the center of the chair. Just I just put it flat on the chair. I'll take the left hand to the hip and just start to turn yourself to the left. The thighs will hug each other. You can reach your arm up for full pose if you like. Look up. Use the right hand on the chair. Take your belly in a little bit. Nice twist. And then release. Step back. Again, take the left foot back, take a breath, and then bring the right foot forward. And once you're here, again, just play with that hip. So the right hip will move back in front. So the hips shifting, and then hug that hip in. Feel your feet sturdy. Take the left hand to the chair and the right hand to the hip. And just start to play with the twist. So you have this nice support of the chair. There's still a lot happening. You can feel the feet connecting. Good. One more breath. Okay. Let's release. We're going to sit. I'm just going to boop, 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 boop. Ta da. Just turn your palms up. Have your you know, we sit on yoga sit, so you're in the front of the chair. Just maybe close your eyes or rest your gaze. Lift yourself tall. Take those ribs in if that's, you know, your thing. It's not everybody. I mean, we all have our, our stuff. <laughs> I feel. Or can I get crown of head over the sit bones? Good. Okay, so just as you are, take your hands back on the chair wherever that is. 
And then we'll just take the heart forward, shoulders back and into a little flying cape. And just leaning the heart forward. Notice if your chin is leading the way, pull it in. So I'm using, you know, you might slide your tush back too. I'm gonna to take my thumbs over to the sides of the index fingers. Open your mouth and just hang here. Lift your shoulders. Breathe. Nice and soft. You know there's a lot happening. You can walk your hands more to the top of the chair. Go for that. Lift the shoulders. And then move the shoulders back. Lift the heart. Take the ribs in. All that same stuff. It's really opening. And receiving. And take one more breath here. Get to you can walk your hands down, bring yourself back upright, rest your hands on your thighs, and just feel. Take a forward fold. So I still have my blanket here. I'm just going to pull it out for a moment because the tush is going to come back a little bit. And then we'll open the legs wide to a comfortable place. And maybe hands on your thighs to start. Inhale. And then find your little cape as you take the heart down. And tush can keep moving back on the chair, guys. Hands to the floor. And so we'll call this like halfway. Uh oh. Here I am, and feel like playing a little bit. So if this works for you, you can even just try this. And when you come up on the pad with your fingers, just stretch the legs out just for um, five-year-old fun. And then put them back down. Okay, just for fun. Okay, and then bring yourself all the way down. And if your hands can reach back and grab a rung on your chair, we'll do that. Just gonna hang, just breathe and hang. So hands can stay on the floor, they could be on your thighs. You're holding a part of your chair here. You melt in whatever you can. Be aware of your support. You are held and supported. Be with your breath for a few moments. Notice your feet. Maybe you lift the toes and keep all parts of the important parts of your, they're all important, but the bony parts. So the balls of the feet, the outer edge, the heel, connected to the floor. Take one more moment. The jawbone. Maybe you can hang a little bit more, even with the shoulder tilt. Take your hands back to the floor. Make keep your eyes closed. You come up this bit of halfway till your hands can hit your thighs. And then bring yourself slowly up to sitting. And you're just going to come back to yoga sit just to take a moment again. And maybe feel the effects of that upside down. Okay, so I'm going to come up to standing. And I just walk the feet in a little bit. Okay, you can use your hands on the chair, but if you feel oh, no hands, that's fine. So I'm gonna come up into chair pose <laughs> and maybe I'll take one or two breaths with the knees bent. Kind of move the knees out a little bit and then come up if you not up yet. Release your arms, come back to your mountain pose. You're just standing. I say just standing there. A little but there's a lot happening. Let's feel your inner landscape. How can you be grounded, get soft? Give me a breath. Just turn around, face the chair. Let's take one more downward facing dog here. Moving into your place, whatever that is for you. If you feel it's a moving front to back or bending the knees and whatever it is, it's all good. Pump it, you can be still. Just be aware, be present. Okay, so from here, I'm going to come back down to the floor and 
we're going to do some forward folds. I'm going to use the chair um, as great support. So you'll put your blanket back on the chair. And we have this bolster here. So um, if you want to sit on it, you can. I'm going to sit on a, another blanket. You know, so you'll, you'll decide how high you want to sit because these forward folds are going to be like a halfway than what we normally do. And you know, when we do forward folds of the chair, here's where you can put your socks on if you like. I'm not going to be standing again. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And I did have my heating pad, but the dogs have stolen it. So <laughs> literally fighting over it. I don't know if you can see, but okay. So now I'm just going to perch on the prop, whatever you're sitting on. You know, if the bolster feels too high, you'll see. I'm going to have the legs open on either side of the chair. Okay, and as we come to lie down, you know this magic spot, just above the eyebrows. And we want to find that, if that works, you know, the edge of the chair here with the skin of the forehead coming down. So you might have to move your chair or move your body, but you'll just come down. You can put your hands there if you like. You no, know, you can also roll your blanket and make it higher. So you find your forward fold here and just rest the forehead. And once you have your magic spot, whatever that is, know that you can always adjust and come down a little lower. And you're just dropping in to this place, feeling, you know that you know, the first minute or two is really just about finding that sweet spot. And you can just you know, so I brought my hands to the floor if that is there. Play, let your legs relax, jaw relax. And then I just want you also to feel into the scruff of your neck if you were a baby kitty. You know, that part, just let it, as if your mama cat is just lifting you up a little bit there through the neck, okay? dropping into the neck. So lifting it just enough that you can maintain that with the hand. And just drop into your inner landscape, the flow of your breath, the grounding you feel from your forehead to tush and all the way through your legs. And just resting there. Softening through the third eye space. In the eyes themselves, through the tongue and the jaw, and releasing whatever burden you're carrying the shoulders, the back of your heart. We drop in more, the body opens. Pushing my chair away from me just a little bit, creating a little more space. Preparing to come out. So I'm going to bring the hands back to the chair and use that to just press myself away. You can keep your eyes closed and then just sit in your sitting mountain pose. And just let your eyes slowly open. Okay, so our next pose is going to be this Janushir Shasana tree pose. So I'm just going to take my right leg just. Underneath the chair, bring the left leg in. And then if you need a prop underneath that, take care of yourself. 
So just pause here for a moment. Let's keep the hands on the floor. And just feel, I have this little bottom rung here and your foot might go behind it. And you'll see where, where the chair goes. Breath, and as you're ready, friends, just maybe hands to the chair and guide yourself forward. Maybe it's not as free as it was because now we're folding over a straight right leg almost. Just find whatever it is, and then we'll do this quite deeply normally. So this is maybe 50% for you, maybe more. Just widening my arms out a little bit. And just drop in again. And let your right leg relax. Finding your mama calf to lift at the back of the neck. Skin of the forehead drawing down towards the nose. You want to massage your forehead and turn the head gently side to side. That might be nice. Just envisioning your body as it is and stirring the breath. The inhale will fill up something, and the exhale will soften and melt you to the floor. And then you envision this flow of breath like that infinity. And if you are using the infinity fund, just take a moment and reverse it in your mind's eye. One just big breath in and inside out. And then bring the hands back to the chair and just come out. Noticing uh, that pressure in the forehead is really settling in. The eyes might feel really heavy and you need to try and open them a little bit more and help them open. And stretch the left leg along side of the right for a moment, if you used a prop and move it over, and then move to tree pose, second side, so bring the right leg in, adjust yourself, take a few moments in the sitting to just feel the prop beneath you, anything that's shifted, a little bit in adjustment, and then coming into the pose in a very loving, healing way, like, I'm taking care of myself here. Once you're in it, just nothing to do but receive. What does this pose offer you right now? And how can you participate fully in this experience? with the breath in whatever way makes sense to you. I say infinity sign like that's not you know, this non-linear shape we're in. This one leg bent. And yeah, it's hard to find. So whatever you envision for breath play is the work.
into your final few moments here for your tension in your legs, helping you rest fully, let the body rest fully into the support of the floor, the chair, what you're sitting on. And to lovingly lift yourself up out of this, and again, just Stretch the right leg out. Just take my feet inside this rung of the chair. We're going to take forward fold with the legs stretched out, and this might be too much. So if you need to pop your feet underneath and move your chair, you can do that. So just take a moment to kind of see what feels right. You can just pop in and go ahead and then come back up. So I've taken a little roll of this, just a little extra forehead support. Come up. Nice and tall, and then exhale and walk yourself in. Use your hands. This can be very deep, so maybe you support your forehead in some way that's not all the way to the chair. Adjust your feet as you need to. Settling into whatever, whatever your pose is. Settling. Scrap of the neck, soft jaw. And then from here, this linear forward fold, you may notice the breath is more centered. Playing with the breath, expanding, feeling it contract. And you find receiving whatever you feel in your legs, in your forehead, your shoulders. And then on the breath. Let your breathing become more relaxed. Just melt in for a few more moments. Can you release what you need to hold on to? Your protection, your support. Going to come out again, use your hands in some way, and just bringing yourself upright and pausing. The last one we're going to do is Baddha Kanasana. And so, again, you can use your props to support. I'm going to use the chair. If you want to get rid of the chair, that's up to you. That's totally fine. Take a moment. Oh, let's give ourselves a little foot rub before we go home. Let's just put our feet and the inner calves and the thighs a little bit of a mush. You come back to sitting, propping, feeling, and then folding in. Those are your legs. Just take your time. Find your place. If you like to go deeper, you can push the chair away. You're okay with a little bit of um, not so deep. Let's get to bring you into this supported body counsel. Relaxing your breath. Taking the of the chair, we're not moving in so deep, so there's different things you can focus on. This is my right shoulder doing the same as the left shoulder. I'm holding tension in my jaw, thighs, the 
any way back to God. Eventually, bringing all of that deep inside to the breath, painting the new inner landscape. Expanding, softening, and receiving into internal progression. Turn yourself up and out. Sit however you like. You might want to cross legs. Just take a few moments to feel. Softness in your head. It's a great Feeling of introspection and softness and nothing to do but this. So you open your eyes. I'm just going to move to the side. So I'm just going to face the chair. I'm just going to take my prop. It could be your bolster and blanket. Put the, so this is my right hip. Um, so it's on the, so if you want to watch, I'll just show you very quickly. But so I'll take this arm over and snuggle in to the underarm. And then take this arm over so we get a stretch. So it might just be here. You might take this arm underneath you and rest your head. Got this earpiece in, so thank you that. And we'll just take the arm over. So you're just gonna find your there it is. Mine. Got my head on the chair and the arm over. That might be it, or you might have a right arm on top, rest your head, left arm over, and then the left arm can walk, you know, maybe more to the right side of the chair just to find a little bit of a stretch. And then because I only have the right hip on the prop here, I'm just gonna let the left side sink. So you feel if you wanna, you know, wait. again, if it's new to you, or you haven't done it for a long time, you take your time, find your place, and just feel a stretch happening, not so much effort. Extended arm is too much, you just lay it on the chair. Feel the breath. You're dropping off of your shoulder. You're holding here that you don't need to hold on to. You don't need to grip the left hip. And soften into your left arm a little bit. You know, it's extending and doing its work by opening the left side. Just take one more breath. Coming out, you can take the left hand to the seat of the chair and lift yourself up and then just be here for a moment in this sit. You can just move on to your prop more. So keep the legs out. You could use your chair. Support yourself and just let the left side drop for a moment. And just take one more breath. Change sides. So, you can do what your prop suggests. Just sit with the left hip or the prop and cut the legs off to the side. And, you know, take your time, friends. You know where you're going. So, just feel that maybe the chair is in the underarm, the left arm on the top. It can rest. So it's not so great, but you can just take the left arm underneath. Your head. And signing your pose here with the right arm up and over, 
or just resting on the chair. And drop it over. Right hip a little bit or right side, just feel. And then we can let go of the, it might just be as simple as letting the jaw go. You know, when I say simple, I know we mean easy. Feeling your breath, feeling what's being received. And can you release? Just taking one or two more breaths. the right hand to the seat of the chair and bringing yourself up. And again, we're just going to sit in this pose. You can put your left hand on the chair if you like. Just letting that right hip drop. It's kind of bring you maybe more upright in this non-linear shape of our sit. You might feel crown of the head and lifting up as the right sit bone drops. opening your eyes if they're closed and bringing yourself back to your chair just facing you. Okay, so guys, from here we're going to move into um, Shavasana. <laughs> so I'm going to use the legs on the chair again, and I'll bring the bolster in if you like that with the bolster. I'm going to do that, and it just makes it a little bit of um, an upside down. That's not, not a requirement. And then I'll put this blanket for the head. And put yourself into this a great pose. And I don't know if I would do it anymore, but I used to do this in airports. <laughs> but <laughs> if I was there for a long time, I'd use the chair and put something down on the carpet because that was disgusting. <laughs> you know, it's a great refresher. So you can start in the Baddha Konasana if you like, with the knees open or whatever feels good. Eye pillow if you like, another blanket. And here we are, we have about see, four, five or so minutes. Just let yourself drop in. Wiggle or move a little bit or adjust anything. And you take the first few moments to do that. You can be resting in your full natural form. Really soon. Receiving and resting. You know, support underneath your head and just might grab the edges of your blanket and just roll it in a little bit so the head is nicely supported. You know, just kind of cup it. Shavasana.
So resting as you are. Stay exactly as you are. You can pop this bolster out and just keep the legs where they are. Just lie completely flat on the back here for a few moments. And if that interests you, you can do that. And just following your breath. Stay here, friends. If you're just settling and this is like, oh, I just need more time, then you know, just stay. Otherwise, you know, begin to use the breath to guide this awakening as you journey out in any way that feels right. You know, anything. Hug your knees in or just simply bend them and rest your feet on the chair for a few moments. Roll into your side as possible with the chair, but you might even just use your feet to just gently press the chair off your mat and then roll to your side with that work. Seated. Let's take your time. Make your way. Let's just stay as you are. That's absolutely fine and lovely. And as we do come upright, we'll just take a few moments to feel. Just doing some seated cat cows to move the back a little bit. And uh, beautiful, bring your hands together in front of your hearts. And if you'd like to turn on gallery view, if you can't see your friends, you can. So from here, guys, let's just take a nice big inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Just bow your chin, just deeply acknowledging all that you are within. value of taking time to be introspective and quiet, just like nature. Nature does not hurry and everything gets done. And to that, we'll inhale and lengthen. And exhale this breath. Let's see what is practice with our May We Be Blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. Let's seal that with one own inhale. Bow your chin. And then take a full breath in. Breathe into your hands. Catch your breath. And let your chin and open your eyes. Walk this to yourself. And offer it to each other. And so much love. So much love. Yes, take it back. Thank you guys. All right, we have a beautiful Friday. Stay where you are just for one moment. Thank you for everyone for being here.